now start our discussion of coordinate geometry. So it's one of our favorite topics where we just make the diagram and get the answer. There are very few calculations usually. Coordinate geometry is one of the most interesting topics and we look at it right from the basics. So we start with the x, y axis over here. So we are showing you here the x axis, the y axis. We know how the points are placed on the x, y axis. So this is 1 and this is 2, this is 3, etc. This is minus 1, this is minus 2. So towards the right, we have the positive x axis and upwards, we show the positive y axis. Towards the left, we show the negative x-axis and downwards, we show the negative y-axis. So here we'll have 1, here we'll have 2, the positive x-axis. And then here we'll have minus 1 and here minus 2 and etc. the negative uh, y-axis. Yeah, so here positive y-axis and here the negative y-axis. All right, now uh, this is called our th this region. The right top region is our first quadrant. We call it the first quadrant. And all the points over here have positive x coordinate and positive y coordinate. So, for example, this point 2, 1 has a positive x coordinate 2 and a positive y coordinate 1. Now, this point minus 2, 1 has a negative x coordinate and a positive y coordinate of 1. Why negative x coordinate? Because here we have the negative x axis. So here the x coordinate is minus 2. Similarly, in the third quadrant, both the x and the y coordinates are negative. So you have a minus 2, minus 1 point. Then it will lie in the third quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, the x our coordinate is again positive. We come towards the right, so it is again positive. Whereas the y coordinate is still negative. It is below the x axis. The y coordinate is still negative. So then, first quadrant positive, positive, both x and y coordinates. Second quadrant negative and positive. x coordinate is negative, y is positive. Third quadrant both negative. And fourth quadrant, your x is positive and your y is negative. This, these are, this is how the points will lie. So, for example, if I were to ask you, where does 4, 3 lie? I know that 4, 3 will lie in the first quadrant. Now, if I say that there is a point and it lies in the third quadrant, such that the absolute value of its x coordinate is 3 and the absolute value of its y coordinate is 1, then what is the actual point since it lies in the third coordinate, a third quadrant, and I know that the absolute value of x coordinate is 3, the actual value of the x coordinate will be minus 3. And again, since it lies in the third quadrant, my y coordinate will be negative as well. An absolute value of the uh, y coordinate is 1. So then the actual point will be minus 1. So then the point is going to be minus 3, minus 1. Uh, now, let's look at a number line and we'll discuss how we find the distance between points on the number line. That will help us find the distance between points on the xy axis, on the xy plane. So, let's say this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. We are making the number line over here. All right, so let's say if I want to find the distance between two points on the number line, for example, 4 and 2, what is the distance between them? How do I find that? I simply say 4 minus 2. This is a simple subtraction, right? I say 4 is this point, and from this, I subtract this. So then what am I left with? I'm left with this much of the length, and that is 4 minus 2. Okay, for example, if I want to find the distance of uh, a line, let's say, between 4 and minus 1. I say, okay, what is the distance between this, minus 1 to 4? Again, I'll say 4 minus minus 1, that is equal to 5. Why? Because this is everything before 4, and then we subtract this before minus 1, and what we get is the distance from minus 1 to 4. 
this is our 5. Of course, we know distance between minus 1 to 4 is 5. We get it by subtracting this point 4 minus the previous point minus 1. So then in case I have any point, any two points on the number line, let's say one point is x1 and the other point is x2, how will I find the distance between them? It doesn't matter whether they lie on the left of the uh, zero or on the right of the zero, it doesn't matter whether x1, x2, both are negative, one is positive, one is negative, or both are positive. How will I find the distance between them? I'll simply say x2 minus x1. That is the distance between them. Assuming x2 on, is on the right of x1. Yeah, x2 is on the right of x1. Then I'll get x2 minus x1. Distance is considered positive. So that is why then I'll get a positive value. Now, distance between these two points is x2 minus x1. Okay, what if I want to find the midpoint? So, say I want to find the midpoint of 2 and 4. What do I do? I, that's simply the average. The midpoint is simply the average. So, I say 2 plus 4 upon 2. That is equal to 3. Of course, we get 3 over here. Let's say I want to find the midpoint of minus 1 and 4. That is simply going to be minus 1 plus 4 upon 2. Again, the average, which is 3 by 2, which is 1.5. And of course, it lies right in the middle over here, 1.5. So if I have two points, x1 and x2, how do I find the point which is right in the middle of them? I'll say x1 plus x2 upon 2. Right? Okay, so then let's keep this in mind. Distance between the two points, x2 minus x1, and the midpoint between two points, x1 plus x2 upon 2. So now we'll find the distance between two points on the coordinate axis. For example, here are our coordinate axes. So this is x and this is y. Now let's say I have a point over here x1, y1. And I have a point over here, x2, y2. Now, for example, I want to find the distance between these two. Let me first draw the distance between their x coordinates and the distance between their y coordinates. So, the red line represents the distance between their, this is the distance between their x coordinates x coordinates and the green line represents the distance between their y coordinates. Right? Um, how will we find the distance between their x coordinates? Now the x coordinate is x2 over here and here we have x1. So of course this is also x1 and uh, here we have y2 and of course since this so here we have y2 and that is why this point also is y2. So then what is the distance, the, the red line distance, what is this equal to? It is simply x1 minus x2. We discussed that, right? So the length of the red line is equal to x1 minus x2. What about the length of the green line? That is equal to y1 minus y2. By the same logic, of course, y1 is here and y2 is here. So when we subtract y2 from y1, we'll get the length of the green line. Now we can use Pythagorean theorem to get this blue line, this, this uh, distance between the two points, this one. Right? Let's call them A and B. So now we can get AB, the distance between the two points, the blue line. How? By saying the uh, length of the green line square plus the length of the red line square under the root. Because the blue line is the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So the length of the red line is x1 minus x2 and the length of the green line is y1 minus y2. So what is the distance AB over here? AB is equal to root of x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square. That's it. That is how we find the distance between any two points. So let's say I have two points, 3, 4 and minus 1, 6. 
how will i find the distance between them i'll simply take the root of 3 minus minus 1 square plus 4 minus 6 square so x1 minus x2 and y1 minus y2 this is a minus 6 here and i'll take the square why i'm taking this uh, squares and adding because we're using the pythagorean theorem over here this gives us the hypotenuse which is the actual distance between the two points or right. now what if i want to find out the midpoint of ab let's say midpoint of ab will likely lie somewhere over here how do i get this point the this point is also the midpoint of the green line and this point here is midpoint of the red line why is that think about a triangle let's say my red line is parallel to the x axis right and then the line that we have drawn over here this is also this one um let's make it in red again this one this is also parallel to the x axis so then what we have over here is a line parallel to the base joining the midpoint of one side to the other side so then the point on the other side will also be the midpoint of that side we've already discussed this in our triangles video how do i find the midpoint of the green line the this is y1 and this is y2 the midpoint of the green line will simply be y1 plus y2 upon 2 it will be the average of y1 and y2 of course x1 is the same over here the difference is the in y1 and y2 right the y coordinates are different what about the midpoint of the red line again we have x1 and x2 here the y coordinates are the same which are y2 so the midpoint of the red line is going to be x1 plus x2 upon 2 this means that the x coordinate of the midpoint of ab is x1 plus x2 upon 2 and the y coordinate of ab is y1 plus y2 upon 2 so then for example if we take the same two points we say that we have two points 3 4 and minus 1 6 and how do we get the midpoint of the line joining these two points we'll simply say this is 3 plus minus 1 upon 2 and 4 plus 6 upon 2 that is the x coordinate is going to be 2 by 2 which is 1 and the y coordinate is going to be 10 by 2 which is 5 so 1 5 will lie right in the middle of the line joining these two points so our mid this is our midpoint formula and this is our formula for the distance between two points it uh, we should keep these two in mind again let me write them down for you x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2 are the coordinates of the midpoint and distance between two lines is given by root of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square so distance between two points is given by x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square the whole under the root and the midpoint of two points is given by x1 plus x2 upon 2 and y1 plus y2 upon 2 